video will be on the Winchester Model 75 target, also known as Model 75T. It's a 22 long rifle, bolt action, target rifle as the name implies. These were made from uh, 1938 to 1958. This particular one was made in 1939. Got a 28 inch heavy barrel, uh, target sights, aperture sights, which are also made by Winchester. Some of the later ones were had a Lyman made sight or Redfield, but these early ones had Winchester. Don't know which one's better. Hooded front sight. And this one has a uh, M1907 leather sling on it, which is a good sling for target shooting, sitting and prone. The magazine release on this is on the left side, on the stock, right below the receiver. And you uh, press in this button right here, and the magazine drops out. And it's a uh, five-shot magazine. There were some 10-shot mags made for these. I haven't seen one yet. This came with this 5-rounder. and For the kind of shooting that this is intended for, I figure 5 rounds is good enough. Here's a better look at the uh, Winchester sights here. Now for elevation, you loosen this up and turn this knob on top here. I think the graduations are about uh, 1 8 minute of angle could be wrong. And for windage you unloosen the aperture itself and turn this knob here. And this is going to be removed easily just by uh, the whole sight, uh, the rear sight, by unscrewing that and it slides right out. The front sight on this is a bit different than uh, like a, a Lyman or a uh, Redfield front sight. Different shape and everything the uh, housing is. And to change sights on this, the front sight, you unloosen this uh, screw here, knurled screw, and it lifts straight up like this. And that's the kind of sight I have for it right now. Get a good white background there. I have another one for it. it has like a, uh, a little smaller aperture up here on top of the post. I don't care for that so much, but uh, I typically use this one. It slides back down in there and tighten the screw up. Those are hard to find. If you had to replace one of those, they're not real easy to find. You can find the ones for the other more popular ones like Lyman or Redfield or whatever, a lot easier than these. Alright, here we are at the shooting range with the Winchester 75T. We'll do some shooting at uh, 50 yards off the bench and maybe some after that out of 100 yards. The ammunition we'll be using is this American Eagle 22 long rifle that's high velocity and Federal Gold Match, which is sounds like it's close to being a, well, subsonic probably. Not sure about the velocity.
Both these groups here are Federal American Eagle, shot at 50 yards, not real impressive. It's about an inch, maybe a little less. This is like an inch and an eighth. So I would have expected better than that, but whatever. Try some match ammo next. Now this is real sweet here, this first group here, I need to measure it home with calipers. With that, if you measure center to center, it's uh, less than a half inch, They're more like three eighths of an inch or something, even, maybe even a quarter. This is maybe Five eighths, no, not even that much. Yeah, it's probably about five eighths of an inch. All right, back to the workbench here. I didn't get to do much shooting at 100 yards or do any videoing of that because something came up, so all the shooting on video will be 50 yards. I did measure these though when I got them home. Uh, that one there at the top, when that came out to actually uh, measure with the calipers, came out to 0.635, which is bigger than what it actually looked when I tried to measure it with my little tape measure. And this one down here, that measured 0.285. So that's a real good group there. Neither one are bad, really, but that lower one there, 285, that's real good. I've already cleaned this, but just to show you how to remove the bolt to clean one of these, and you pull the trigger, slides right out, and it goes back in the same way. You got to pull the trigger in order to allow it to go in. Also, the safety on this, I didn't mention it before, is right here. Back for safe, for for fire. I know people are going to ask how much these cost and where to find them at. They're not very common. Uh, I haven't seen that many of them. And I found this one at a gun shop, local gun shop here in 2001, on consignment, just as you see it. And I got it for 350, if I remember right. Yeah, I believe it was 350. Of course, it's going to be more now since 11 years has passed. And where to find it? It's a, your guess as good as mine. Uh, local gun shops, uh, gun shows, um, gunbroker.com. But first, I would want to do some research and find out what they're worth before you go and uh, plunk down any money for it. 
Another thing I wanted to cover here, because I know someone's going to ask you about scope mounting on this. This does not have grooves or holes drilled and tapped on the receiver itself for mounting a scope because this is a uh, quite old. It uh, does have holes drilled and tapped with uh, screw plugs in there right here on the barrel and right up here for uh, one of the older Unertle or Lyman target scopes. Those are those big long ones with the uh, external adjustments. They're also quite expensive. I wouldn't mind finding one for this someday, but I just have other things to do money-wise right now. So uh, if I find a good price on one, I, I might pick it up. I think it would be pretty cool to have it on there. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. Ask questions if you have them.